welcome back. My name is Marco and this is Tunes I Dig, where I talk about Tunes I Dig. And today's tune is Pastime by Samantha Crane. So I started Tunes I Dig back in August of 2020 with three videos a week. I started with three just so I could get used to making videos and filming and editing and all that kind of stuff. I had the intention of expanding up to five videos a week. One of those videos per week would be sort of a way back playback, focusing on songs that I grew up with that I think people have forgotten or even the kids of today don't know exists. One of the other days a week was supposed to be a focus on my favorite bands. Here's the thing. My favorite bands are all super popular. They don't need any more attention. So this Tunes I Dig journey has brought me along a way where I've connected with some of my fellow Canadians and Canadian bands, and they've inspired me to shine a light, not just on Canadian artists, but the Canadian indigenous community. And while I do want to focus primarily on shining a light on the indigenous community in Canada, Sometimes I might not get to it, but I do then just want to open it up and make it indigenous anywhere around the world. So with that said, Samantha Crane is an indigenous artist, but she is from the United States. I've just been, I was running a little late this week because life, I guess, I don't know. And I, I couldn't uh, hone in on a Canadian indigenous artist. So I'm going to kick off my weekly Tunes I Dig video. That's correct. One video a week will be highlighted by an indigenous artist, primarily of Canada if I can, but if not, just indigenous all around. And so this week it is Samantha Crane. So guess what? Enough of me yapping. This is Pastime by Samantha Crane. Reminds me of that fierce woo! Falling in love was a pastime. I practice every chance I got. If you buy in into it, let me co sign. I got the best bet on the block. Love and guitar in the background. See, it's just the feeling I was waiting for. I know you're talking, but I shut you off. Blacked out on something out of nowhere. And we're not even worried about it. And it feels like, and it feels
Samantha, 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 Jesus, who Jesus, oh, that was, oh, beautiful, thank you so much for that, Samantha Crane, everybody. All right, welcome back, everybody, oh my God, what a, what a beautiful song, I love that intro. So that intro was coming in and then I heard that guitar part which made me freak out so I had no chance to explain myself and I was just getting a bit of, I, I want to say Melissa, Melissa Etheridge and a few other, some other Canadian artists or just artists in the 90s. But anyway, that vibe was there but then that came in and I freaked out. So good. Uh, let's get into what the song is about. Truth be told, I have been reading these lyrics over and over and over again, and they are a little ambiguous. So we have falling in love with a pastime. I practice every chance I got. If you're buying into it, let me co-sign. I've got the best on the block. That's very, very vague. So what could that mean, pastime? Is she talking about music? The rest of the song doesn't really give me the feeling she's talking about music. Is this about a relationship with someone, a romantic relationship? The rest of the song doesn't give me that vibe either. I love this line here though, the third verse. I'm looking for you with the circle of a flashlight. Who knew the city could get so dark? We're out at 4 a.m. on Wednesday. Tomorrow morning's gonna hurt so hard. So to me, that's like doing hood rat stuff, hood rat shit or whatever. So yeah, I don't know, I don't know. I, uh, I Like I said, I read it over and over and I, I can't really figure it out. It's kind of ambiguous, it's kind of vague, uh, but I do love the way she delivers every single line. She does it so, so, so beautifully and so perfectly. The song is just this, just this like delicate, like gold, it's just this beautiful little thing that's just shining and it's, and it's in its own little place and I love everything that's going on, the little guitars in the background. It's, it's just, mm, this, is, this is the stuff that I'm looking for. So so Ms. Samantha Crane, great job on this song. And I can't wait to look into your entire catalog and see what else you have. But I've said it so many times, but I just gotta say, I'm just so overwhelmed. Like I was really, really blown away with this song. I've heard it a few times, but I guess it's been a week or two since I heard it. So tonight it's just came right over me. So wow, great job. And if you do know a lot of Samantha Crane, comment below. Tell me another song of hers that you really, really, really love and I will check it out. And of course you wanna like or subscribe, whatever, it's all good. And I'll see you guys next time.